is up everybody it's your girl chelsea J, and welcome back to another video if you are oldie but goodie hey boo what it do and if you are a newbie welcome to the channel if you have not already make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button so you guys i have a huge trash bag full of empties so let's not even play around let's jump into it let's um talk about some things let's talk about what we would repurchase what we wouldn't repurchase and why and yeah let's just do it so the first thing first this looks nasty so i'm holding it back here is this listerine cool mint mouthwash i use this because normally i use their breath but i was just missing like listerine and the burn that it gives so i grabbed that Next up, we have a Dove Original Bar Soap. If you know, you know. This is my Holy Grail. You're going to always see this in here. I use this as a base clean, amongst other things, because Dove has never done me wrong. And this scent is just so... It smells good. Next up, we have the L Brand Pure Cotton Maxi Pads. Y'all know, another Holy Grail for me not to even go into too much about it i'm gonna always repurchase these because this is like my pad of choice like i stopped using always Whew, it's been a minute since i've used the always pad and i must say that my cycles and everything have been you know much better i don't know if it's because it's like no synthetic pesticides dyes or fragrances but every since i got put on to these i never look back another dove original bar soap because y'all know we go through those um a gingham love miniature body wash this smells so good y'all know i'm in the process of getting rid of all of my shower gels from bath and body works because they've been dry they kind of dry my skin out sometimes so yeah i got through this one so that is good i'm putting all the bath and body works projects bath and body works projects bath and body works products over here because i am trying to keep track of like what i'm going through all right next up we have some q-tips and y'all this box is like super old it was like 500 in here this moved with us from our old house to our new house but anytime i buy q-tips i always get the 500 cotton swabs because it's just like the biggest bang for my buck this is the pattern detangling it's a detangling brush it's a shower brush but it's a detangling brush um i do like this so they say how you're supposed to use it is conditioner apply conditioner to section wet hair use shower brush to gently work conditioner through starting at the ends and working towards the roots and that's what i do um yeah, that's exactly what I do. And it works, but this brush was freaking expensive. So shout out to my husband for purchasing it for me. A pack of wipes that I had in my purse for God knows how long. I was using this to wipe my hands, amongst other things. This was just the Huggies with aloe and vitamin E. And I mean, they're just wipes, you know, they're good to have. Another Dub Original Bar Soap, so <laughs> that makes three. Then we have these Shiseido facial cotton, like the um, cotton pads. And I really like these better than like the cotton rounds. Um, they are nice and soft, just like this says. And I found them in these in TJ Maxx for $7.99. And I actually bought like a two pack. So I still have some left. And I never, I didn't even realize that on the back it has instructions of how you're supposed to use it. But I just use it how I want to. It's 165 sheets in it. I still have one that I'm going through. And I will definitely be on Amazon trying to find these again before they run out all right we have a rainbow cereal the fragrance notes are fruity cereal crunch and a splash of milk i had this in our kitchen i think it's a nice fruity cereal smell which is why i put it in there there is no need for me to repurchase this because i already have a backup y'all i'm so proud of myself because our bath and body works soap stash is dwindling and i think if i participate in sas because i am on a no spin until SAS at least. If I purchase anything, it will probably be hand soaps. 
Next up is the French Shade. I think that's how you say it. Soothe and Comfort Cashmere Vanilla. Really enjoyed this scent. It translates better when you like add water into it than it does out of the bottle. This was suggested to me by my cousin. And at first I was like, I don't like how this smells in the bottle. Um, it has cozy vanilla, toasted jasmine rice, sandal and sandalwood um but actually once you get it onto like whatever your choice is like um like washcloth or whatever you choose to cleanse your body with it does smell good would i repurchase this yes because i like how it goes with some of my bath and body work scents that i have i think i finished this up using it with cashmere glow and i was just like okay yeah the cashmere note in this really does complement those scents i was also using it at nighttime and it does soothe and comfort so i would eventually pick up one of these again um whenever i needed a body wash but right now i don't need a body wash like period next up we have a firefight fireside flurries lotion with toasted marshmallow pink lavender cashmere woods this is one of my favorite scents um i feel like they did the pink lavender right and they did the marshmallow note right this is fresh and clean yet um well what i think of as fresh and clean not literally fresh and clean but it just reminds me of a great nighttime scent and that's what i use it in nighttime i definitely have one more one more lotion i guess and um i know i have a shower gel and i know you're probably saying oh it's lotion in there y'all i have so many products like i don't have to scrape and yeah no because i would never get through any of my stuff if i did that Next up, we have a Raspberry Jam hand soap. Where did I use this at? Was it in the bathroom? I don't know. But the notes are sweet raspberry jam, fresh strawberries, and vanilla cake crumbles. This is so good. I have two more of these on in my little stash. So I don't need to repurchase this anytime soon. But this is one of the scents that, like, if I see it at SAS and it's 75% off, then your girl is buying it because it smells so good. Next up, we have a native sugar cookie, y'all. This is older. Like, I bought this when the sugar cookie scent first came out, and it was so good. Um, I actually would repurchase this again. Just not sure when, because like I said, I don't need another body wash. Next up, you guys, we have the Raspberry Jam Donut. This is the lotion. The notes are wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, warm, and fluffy donut. That little bit would not come out. This is one of my favorite scents, and I was hoarding this, and I didn't want to get rid of it. But, y'all, we just got to get rid of this stuff. Because if we don't get rid of this stuff, it's going to go bad. So, I was just like, you know what, girl, use it. Yes, you're going to miss it. But I have another donut lotion. I have cinnamon donut swirl. And I do have some of the raspberry jam donut spray left. So I'm just make my own concoction because, yeah, if you just hold on to everything, you will never make room in your project. And you're going to end up decluttering and throwing a lot of stuff away. Another native body wash, cherry and vanilla macaron. Macaron, excuse me. I love this scent. I just went ahead and used it because I was holding on to it because I thought that it was going to be limited edition. But I see that they made this one a part of their permanent collection. So, yeah. Use it right on up and got it out of here. Next up, I have the box to the Super Goop Unscreen Sunscreen SPF 40. Haven't went through all this yet. But what I would say is it is very... um. It's very, how can I put it? I like the consistency of it. I like how it goes on. It can, depending on what other projects you use with it, be a little oily. But once I have completed the whole thing, I will give y'all a more of an update on whether I would repurchase or not. But what I do know is that it is invisible. So it does not leave a white cast, at least on my skin. So for that, I am thankful. Next up, I did not use this, but this is the One Smooth Operator Pore Clearing Face Scrub Zinc Oat and Pumice. My husband used this. I don't know what he thought about it, I, so I can't give y'all any input. 
Next up, we have blueberry sugar pancakes, fragrance notes, sugar blueberries, fresh pancakes, caramel cream drizzle. This thing is empty because, y'all, I have a backup of this. Probably two, like a lotion and a cream. And at this point, I just, I gotta let it go. I am gonna pick up probably a spray of this if I see it in SAS, but only if it's 75% off before cheap. Um, Y'all probably like all that lotion down there. Y'all, I be turning these things upside down and they be at the top. And then once I throw them into my empty bag, they just settle. But yeah, I did use that because mm -mm, gotta go. Next up, we use the Happy Easter Soap, Sweet Jelly Beans, Mixed Berries, Sugar, Lemon. We use this in the kitchen, I know, for a fact. Had a nice scent to it, but I don't know if this is one of the scents that I would pick up. This is Tutti Fruity Candy. I know a lot of people like this scent, but I just don't know if I personally um, want to pick it up again. Another soap. Carnival Kettle Corn. This was notes of Funfair Popcorn, Golden Vanilla, and Toffee Drizzle. I have a backup of this, and I love, love this scent. Like, if I see it again, I'm definitely grabbing it. I think that popcorn note just, it did something for me, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, it was so good. Next up, we have the Ordinary Glycolic Acid. Y'all, I started using this. I used it for like two weekends in a row, and then I stopped. But I also heard this is very good for like dark spots under your armpits and stuff like that. And so since it is summertime, I think I'm going to be using it for that. I also heard it kind of stops the odor. Um, a lot of people said over time that they have used this and, you know, the odor's just gone. So, yeah, I did want to let y'all know that I picked this up. It is not completely empty yet, but when I get there, I'll give y'all my final thoughts. Next up, we have, all right, the Amina Whipped Body Butter and Unicorn Dreams. Y'all, this smells like nothing anymore. I got this from TJ Maxx for $8.99. And it smells like nothing anymore. So this is what I mean about you have to start using your projects and not start using your projects. Start using your products and just not like leaving them. Because this did have a good smell to it. It was really moisturizing, but it just doesn't have a scent to it anymore. So what's the point of me keeping it? So that was a waste of $9 right there. Next up, we have a native oat milk latte. Hated it, okay? Um, y'all used up like three of my native body washes. Go me. But anyways, hated it. The coffee note, when you just smelling it out of the bottle, it smells so good. You get the milk, you get the latte, you get the oat. But when you put this onto the washcloth into some hot water, all you smell is coffee. So if you need a good wake up scent in the morning, this is perfect for you. But as for me and my household not buying it anymore all right let's see next up we have a candle this is clean by goose creek and y'all this smells so good um the wax is actually gray so don't think that's like soot or anything the wax is actually gray was gray in it and i burnt it all the way down so you can see but yeah Woo. okay but yeah clean that's what it was. And that's what it smelled like. Every time I would clean up my downstairs area, I would like that. And it would just smell clean. Next up, we have a Dr. Bronner's Hemp Peppermint Pure Castile Soap. This was good for what it was. I don't know why I was holding on to it. Because I can always go in the store and buy this, right? So, yeah. But also, I don't know, y'all. It's just something now in my spirit that is like if i can use this for all of these things mopping the floor making a detergent do i really need to be using this on my body so i don't plan on purchasing another body wash in a super long time because if you have not already i will link it i just bought a ton of body washes like a ton next up i have another dove original bar soap Next up, we have this Avino Daily Moisturizing Body Wash Big Boy. My husband loves this stuff. I have used it a few times. 
it's lightly scented we got this one from bj's to me this is the best one because it's lightly scented and the scent kind of reminds me of like a green tea type of smell but i guess that's where the prebiotic oat formula comes in at so that's probably why next up i have a deodorant in the dove advanced care unscented let me hold it back here because it looks nasty um this did what needed to be done it doesn't have a scent so if you are the type of person who you feel like your body shower your deodorant everything has to match then grab you one of these because it doesn't smell like nothing but it still does what it is supposed to do as far as keeping you fresh next up i have a thank you next spray mist by ariana grande mm, it was okay it was given but to be honest i didn't even really use this in like on my body a lot maybe a few times and then after that it went into the bathroom and i use it as a shower spray what i mean by a shower spray every time before i would get into the shower just to kind of give me a zen feeling and put me into the element i would just spray 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 into the water all around the bathroom and eventually this was a wrap next up we have another deodorant this is the dove powder this don't look nasty so i'm gonna just show y'all up close um i already went ahead and repurchased this it broke on me which is why it's in my empties it like i guess i was at the end child and didn't realize it and i was putting it on one morning and it crumbled onto the floor so this has already been repurchased oh as far as the thank you next i won't repurchase that again not in the body spray at least and that candle if i ever came across that on a sale i would buy it again and the vino i already know my husband is going to buy it again and i would be all for it because like i said i kind of enjoyed that scent and next up we have another candle candle <laughs> we have another candle this is cinnamon spiced vanilla and i had this burning in the kitchen y'all one week the one weeks that I have gotten on SAS, they not doing it for me. Like, they just, I don't know. They just not producing scent for me. So, yeah, Bath and Body Works Country Days. <laughs> Next up, we have a Goose Creek Fizz the Season. And it burnt all the way down. This was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. It was okay. I got this during a sale, so yeah it, it it was okay it has a kind of like champagne citrus scent but you got to be careful because i let mine get too hot and it started melting a little but you also have to be careful with this because for some reason it reminds me of citronella no eggs just but all of that citrus is do next up we have a salt xo film rejuve oil yes it's still full it's supposed to promote arousal and soothe your vulva decrease inflammation it's avocado oil almond oil orange extract lemon extract vitamin e tea tree oil peppermint oil y'all was just using this on the top to see if it would help with some of the darkness but that peppermint some of it i don't know i'm really it's really in my empties because I just wasn't reaching for it. And I was just like, if I'm not reaching for it, then trash it. Um, So I did that. And I don't know. The scent is kind of put off -ish as well. So like, yeah. <laughs> All right. Native deodorant powder and cotton. Y'all, this is the only native deodorant that really gets down for me. It broke, which is why it is in my empties. It's a nice, fresh, clean scent. And I'm definitely repurchasing this. I don't know why I didn't grab it the other day when I was in the store. But honestly, I have two freaking deodorants I'm working on. And I'm just getting out of that mood where I am. Um, I'm getting out of that mood where I'm trying to just match everything. Like if I find a deodorant that works for me that's just what i'm gonna stick to <laughs> next up we have a pocket bag and the scent um sparkling icicles and it's just nice fresh citrusy clean i have more of these so i don't need to buy it back up then we have the fireside flurries shower gel because I needed this. I needed this to relax so toasted marshmallow pink lavender cashmere woods Y'all, I also think, no, not think, I know that uh, 
French Shay body wash that I was showing y'all before, I was actually using that with this. So like kind of layering the two and did what it needed to do. And last but not least is this Dove, let me hold it back here, look nasty. Dove exfoliating polish, crushed almond and mango butter, y'all. I got to the air and was like enough. And pretty much because this this mango is it's weird. Like at first I started off liking it, but this mango can be a little musky. So would I ever repurchase this one again? Nope. I sure wouldn't. So yeah, you guys, that is it for my empties. Let's just count up some things. Let's see. So I used uh two shower gels from Bath and Body Works. Not full size, but whatever. I used uh, three lotions, which I'm proud of myself for that. One pocket bag, maybe more, because I honestly think I just be throwing these things away and forgetting them sometimes. Okay, I gotta go look at that. One, one wick, because I got tired of it. And believe it or not, Four soaps, which that's pretty good because it's only two of us in this household and we use the four soaps. So y'all already know we definitely washing our hands over here. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this empties video. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.